welcome back to Hermitcraft. All right. Well, I have heard a bit of news that uh, Master Green has uh, restocked this place, or actually stocked it, with actual real live ender chests. Not micro, not uh, like mini heads or something. Actual ones, okay. Three chests for a diamond. Oh, well. That is a very good deal. Okay. Three for a diamond. And just for giggles, I'm going to get two diamonds worth because... That's just handy, you know? Now, while I'm here, let's see, are there any more lanterns in here? Yes, and what are those? A diamond to stack. Actually, let's get another four stacks out. Just get all of them, okay. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure that one of these stores around here was uh, selling redstone stuff. And I would kind of like to pick up some observers. What is this? Goat, bending, goat mending machine. Oh, put a diamond block in there, get a mending book. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. I can't help but to wonder if after the mayor campaign is over with, the uh, political campaign posters will still be sitting around, or will they be cleaned up? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Trader Jeb's? Was that the place that had redstone stuff? Cactus, cyan dye, endstone, prismarine, bone, glass, a diamond for three stacks, but they're out of stock. Uh, okay, this place has been bought clean out. All right. Well, let's see here. I think I am going to want some of uh, some of his stuff at some point, but prime slime, a diamond a sack. All right, one stack just for the making of sticky pistons. All right, let me find what I'm looking for, and I'll get back at you. I've been getting some things ready, but let's get first things first. Ender chest. A real one, instead of just a uh, cheesy little head that looks like an ender chest. Yeah, now this is more like it. And let's just take this and do that because that's going to be kind of a thing, as we all know. 
All right, I've got uh, pretty much most of what I need here, I think. So head up here to a room I've dug out. And of course, let's see, I've got a dropper. Uh, let me see. So if I pop that there, this here, throw down a pressure plate. Okay, some glass around there. All right, wait a minute. Okay, that one should have been that. And get rid of this, move it up there. Okay, um, Okay, so, let's see, repeaters, pop one over here, get that a little bit of a delay. And then down here, Um, no, not that way. This way. All right, let me expand this a little. As you may recall that last time I said something about making my own uh, rockets because I wanted flight duration three. And uh, doing that, of course, requires having a supply of paper. And yeah, sure, I could buy a batch of it every now and then. But uh, you see the thing there, availability is not always carved in stone, you know, so I think it's better, just for the sake of convenience, to roll my own. Because why not? Okay, now, And of course, that needs to be dirt. And along here, um, yeah, water stream. All right. Now back here. Yeah, I got a bunch of repeaters. All right, that should pretty much do that. Come on. Doing this from memory because it's been a long time. And so, all right. I got a torch. No, I don't. Okay. 
doesn't matter. Now the way this should work is when something drops out of here, you go down there, turn the redstone signal on, which will cause the pistons to extend. At the same time, it will go through here, be delayed a little bit, and this will drop another thing out there. Oh, wait a minute. I may have to invert that signal, yeah. Yeah. Okay, hang on. I'm not very far away, so drop down here. Yeah. Okay, not a not a huge issue. Just break that block here. Torch on it. There. That should do what I need which means when that disappears after five minutes it will despawn that will make the pistons extend kick all of the reeds off of there and they will land in the water okay so, let's see. Hard. I'm going to have to go get the uh, silk touch tool and pick that up, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Let's see. Put that up here. probably reroute this that's better I think get some slab there in there or I could just put some glass down glass won't break that all right, now I go over here and grab through the corner. Bingo! That's exactly what it needs to be doing. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Stupid mistake time, but this is why we test. Yeah, okay. Um... dumb mistake because you break off the bottom layer you're not going to do any good <laughs> yeah so oh can reeds even be next to that I bet you it can't oh it can okay all right So, pistons here. No. All right. Temporary blocks. There we go. Much 
better. Gonna move this because these need to be up a layer. Got it figured out. It's a little klutzy building this from memory, but I guess I'm not doing too awful bad. There. Okay. That should do it. Alright. Pop down the reeds. Alright. Now, over here, all right, drop a couple of chests. going into it. And that really about all I'm gonna need here. Uh, we'll put a glass there. And for this I'll just block that off. All right. And go ahead and glass this part, too. Ah. Well, my aim is terrible today. there and make sure it stays lit up. Okay. So now all I need is another hopper point into this thing. Throw a chest up there. Load that chest with cobble or what the heck ever else. And those waste materials get used for that little, very cheap, very uh, low-impact timer. Just every five minutes that'll go off. Now, what I'll need to do, or what I want to do, actually, is to uh, drop down that way and set up another set of pistons and reeds and repeaters and redstone basically extend the redstone down that way and get a, a, a second and probably even eventually a third bank of these things down there and yeah that way i will have all the paper i will ever need yeah <laughs>